Hi, I'm Nicolene Peck and I teach relationships and parenting through the lens of self-government. And in this video, I'm sharing with you my reaction to April and Davy's daddy-daughter date, which was a concept that I introduced them to at one of my trainings. And we're gonna see a really fun date and father-daughter interaction here. <laughs> In this video, we see Davy getting his daughter pumped up for their daddy-daughter date, and then we see what they do. And there are some key lessons we can learn from this video that tell us some good components for creating a really great daddy-daughter date memory. Now, I just wanna point out here that this doesn't just have to be daddy-daughter. It can be mommy-daughter, it can be daddy-son, it can be mommy-son, but just dates. Dates are so important. Let's take a minute and talk about dates first for just a second and then we'll see Davy's date with EB. When I was a child, my dad started doing daddy dates with his children. So once a week, he would take me or one of my brothers on a date. And I do think my brothers had a little bit more dates with their dad than I did. And it's probably because dad was trying to rein them in just a little bit and he felt the need to bond with them. This was wisdom. In fact, those daddy dates that I had with my dad will forever be etched in my mind. I I remember hiking a mountain with daddy and holding on to his finger and feeling so safe because he was so strong and even though we were on this really steep trail that had a cliff on one side, I knew I was protected because I was with my daddy. I also remember one time daddy saying, what do you want to do for your daddy date? And I said, I don't know. And he said, well, maybe we could go window shopping. And I pulled like a Calvin and Hobbes and I was like, do we need new windows? <laughs> and he was like, don't you know what window shopping is? And I said, no, I don't know. And he's like, oh, well that's when you go to the store and you look in all the windows and you see all the great things that they're selling and you go with somebody. And I was like, oh yeah, I wanna do that. So I remember walking down the mall, the hallways and the corridors to the mall with my dad looking in the windows and talking about all the neat things in the shops and then dad suggesting that we go in and take a closer look at some of these things that we were thinking were so exciting and fun to look at. It was so neat to be on a date with my dad. He was so gentle with me and so caring and it really was this moment that transformed me. So in this video with Davy Orgel and his daughter E.B., we see Davy talking about how excited he is to go on a date with E.B. So let's take a look here. E.B., what's happening today? I mean, one on one date. What's happening? Our date. That's right, guys. Good morning. Me and Evie are just planning our date. I think we're going to be going to Fat Cats. Evie's so excited. I'm so excited. We have to move it up because we're not going to be Yeah, we usually do it a little later in the week. And we might stop off at the dollar store, get a treat and a little dollar store toy. And I'm so excited for our date today. So you eat your breakfast and get ready for school. We get, you gotta make sure you go to school if you wanna go on our date. So eat up. Okay, so we see Davey, he's so excited for his date and we see that he's like, Evie, what's coming today? And then here's Ender over on the other, so, the other side of the table and he's saying, oh, it's the one-to-one -one date, you know? And you can tell that Ender loves to have a one-on-one -on -one date with his dad too. And so he's excited for Evie to be able to go on this and they're talking about when it's going to happen. So this is a beautiful thing to do. If you wanna create a lasting memory, you talk about an activity before it occurs. You allow the child to get excited about it, to think about it, to dream about it, to hope for it, and then when the moment occurs, it's even more special. So there's a lot of wisdom in this. In fact, when I talk about having good family activities, I always talk about the principle of anticipation for creating a good memory. Well, we see Davy applying the principle of anticipation to setting up this date with his daughter, Evie, right now. So Davy and April Orgel came to one of my parenting mastery trainings 
And when they came to that training, they were introduced to some ideas that they hadn't known that I taught before. So one of those ideas was having good mentor sessions with your children. And as part of those mentor sessions, setting up dates with your children. So they started taking that really seriously. In fact, I think it's one of the things they got the very most excited about because who doesn't like to have some one-on-one time with someone that they love and they really wanted to strengthen relationships with their children and show them that they cared. And so they started having these really meaningful, beautiful dates. So let's take a look at Evie's date with her dad, Davey, after school. And it starts right when he picks her up from school. It's so cute. Before I get to the date, which is so cute, it literally touches my heart every time I see this sweet daddy with his daughter and the way that he treats her. But before we get to that, I would love to hear about some of your memories that you have with your parents. Have you been on special dates or trips? Things that have created lasting memories in your life or made you want to be a better person or something something like that, put your experiences in the comments. It might even give other people ideas of things that they can do for dates with their children too. All right, let's take a look at the date now. It's so cute. I love little Evie. Okay, so what? Okay, hold on. So I just picked up Evie from school and I kind of forgot what we were doing today. What's the plan today? Date. Our date? Do you want to go home and get some nice clothes on or just go straight there and let's party? I think we should just go right now. I think we should go to Dollar Store. I think we should get dressed and then go to Dollar Store and then go to The movie's going to start. It's a daytime movie. It's not a nighttime movie. Let's just go right now. Oh, yeah. Let's get that. Um, okay, yeah. first stop, Dollar Store. Look at that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we see little Evie picking out things at the dollar store. You know, it's the simple things. I mean, literally $2, a little toy and a little tree, and she is so excited. And she gets to go and see a movie with her dad. This is so much fun. And I love that he even thought about, hmm, maybe we should put on special clothes because it's a date, you know? And then he's like, wait a minute, maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we better just go or that could take too much time. It's gonna, we're gonna be late. So super cute stuff that we're seeing here with Evie just so excited at the, the, the dollar store trying to find the perfect treat for her movie all right let's take another look here um, about what happens when they get to fat cats is I think where they went my mom or Fufi she's a fat cat <laughs> you guys this is the time to come here nobody's here we got the place to ourselves no? huh Evie nobody's here Okay, there's like one other family here, right? Okay, what movie What movie are we going to see, Evie? Um, I forgot what it's called. Tom and Jerry. Classic Tom and Jerry. And as far as I can tell, we're the only ones in that theater, but maybe a few more people bought tickets, huh? No, no! no! That's so stupid! How did it drop we it? it? We caught it. Dang it, we try it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the movie. Okay, I just love, he's so cute with her. And I love how she's like, no dad, there's two people here. I'm pretty sure I saw two people. <laughs> Cause he was like, oh, we have the place to ourselves," And she's correcting him. Isn't that just what little children do? Like everything has to be absolute. Like he's kind of making this statement, like it's so great, hardly anybody's here. But he says it in a way that does not jive with her desire for things to be exactly right. She challenges him on that, it's super cute. And I love that they're playing the little arcade games and trying to grab the little toy and she's talking about her frustrations of course we have a skill for that Evie could have used accepting a no answer but I think her and her dad had a fun little dialogue about oh that's frustrating let's try it again anyway super cute and you see she's totally mesmerized by the movie with dad and um, I can just see them sitting together and cuddling because he is just that type of dad such a fun memory for the two of them and she was so excited about it I bet you that she had the best night ever after this day date with her dad. So daddy dates and mommy dates, these are special things. And there are so many other great things that your family can learn to be better at self-government. In 
In fact, one of those things is calmness. Calm communication makes a huge difference in your family's ability to connect with each other. Because you've watched this video, I would like to give you a free gift. In the description below this video, there is a link to the Calm Parenting Toolkit. I believe it is the top link in that description. If you click on that link, you can have the Calm Parenting Toolkit, which is a free mini course that is a great beginning to learning calmness and self-government, and you can have it for completely nothing. So totally free for you. Click on the link now, get started, and improve your calmness and your children's too, so that your bonding will be that much better. We'll see you there.